What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I don't know if you guys know my guy, but go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Uh, my name's Cameron. Uh, I've made this bait with a couple of my friends and uh, I actually hit uh, Tony here up to paint it for me because uh, I saw his uh, Hinkle painting video and his Hinkle trout and I was like, I need to get this painted. So I uh, sanded it down for him and uh, I hope he can uh, paint this, you know, pretty well and I'm sure he'll do a great job. And look, look at that, man. Thanks for the love, man. For sure. Hey, we're gonna dive into his bait, man. I think it's super cool that he made his own bait. He reached out to me, the bearded one, to paint his bait, man. I told you it was gonna happen, man. We're gonna check this bait out, man. Let's dive into it and uh, see exactly what he did with it, with him and his friends, how many times it took him to get to it. Maybe even throw it around, see how it swims before I uh, dive into this masterpiece and try to make it even better than what it is, guys. So this is the eight inch version of what me and my friends made. Uh, how we made this was we just took uh, some old wood and then the hinges we used, we actually made them uh, a lot similar to uh, marling baits, just with some uh, steel wire in there. Before I had it painted a uh, trout color and I threw it so much that the hook rash and everything on it would just, it was just torn up. So uh, I hit up my man Tony and I, uh, I want to get it uh, painted uh, somewhat like a, a gizzard shad. I think it's hella dope that you made your own bait. Uh, do you know what kind of wood it's made out of? I don't. We just found some wood. You just found some wood it. and made it. Dog, that's hella dope. And you also got weights underneath there, man. Show them about the weights. Like, how did you get those weights poured? Yeah, so basically what we did is we just drilled some holes in the bottom of the bait where we thought we would, uh, you know, put weights. And then we actually, the first round of these, we put uh, bullet weights in them and then just put a. Uh, like some epoxy on top of them. But then after that, we started actually melting them with like a blowtorch and a pair of pliers. And that got to uh, where we are now, hook points. So the, they're actually put in there and then go, go into the wood. And then after that, we put lead around them. So they're, they're, they're in there. They're super There's, in there, huh? Yeah. That's crazy. What style of bait was this intended to be? Just a glide bait. Uh, supposed to represent a trout, but again, it just, it's been thrashed around so much, I want to make it a gizzard shad. Yeah. Did you run any kind of specific hooks on there at the time being, or was it made for any kind of hooks? Or? I, I just threw some hooks on there, honestly. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's what's up, dude. Like I said, man, I'm completely honored about being able to paint a subscriber's bait, man, a supporter of the channel. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm super nervous, but I, I think I'm going to do a good job, man. I mean, I have no choice but to do a good job. I can't imagine painting a subscriber's bait and then him telling the world how the bearded one messed it up. It's going to be crazy. All right, guys, I got his bait. I'm taking it back to the bearded headquarters. We're going to lay some paint down on this thing for my man. You trust me? Yeah. All right, man. I trust you too, man. I trust in everything that we trust together. Give me some nucks. All right, man, I don't know how long it's going to take. Hopefully I'll be done by the end of this week, so I'll definitely hit you up. You guys make sure that you stay tuned, all right? All right, guys, I'm back at Bearded Headquarters. I got my man Cameron Swimbait here that he hand carved himself. Him and a few homeboys did. This thing looks pretty dope, man, for being his first Swimbait carved out. Let's see what you guys think. I already sprayed a few layers of some uh, sparkling silver on it already. So I'm gonna finish it off, make it look like a shad, like how he wanted, put some eyes on it. I'm gonna hook him up with the hardware and the hooks and everything too, man. So be ready for that camera. I got all my airbrush paint here. This is the type that I use. I'm not a professional or anything, but these colors and this company stick pretty good. So of course we got that clear coat, man. And I told you guys to go grab off of Amazon for $20. If you guys are painting anything, this stuff is dope, man. Got my airbrush kit. Gonna get to it, man. Let's see how it comes out, man. Y'all pray for me, please. I forgot to mention this clear coat is like straight up automotive grade type joint so well ventilated area the whole garage idea I had I completely forgot how much I didn't breathe last time on the Hinkle 
So I'm in the backyard now, hanging it from a tree. Well ventilated area. Let's go ahead and clear it from this bad boy. done with Cameron's swim bait. I met him out here at this golf course, a little secret pond right here. It's golfers, it's crazy out here on this Sunday. But I'm glad I got it done. It's been a minute, it's been a few weeks, super busy, but we definitely got it all done. This is it. I'm meeting up with him and his buddy right now, so let's go get his reaction and see what he thinks about the bait. All right guys, I got Cameron, I got the swim bait. So, here it is, man. What do you think? Uh, you did an amazing job, man. It's Thank you, bro. It's insane how good you did. Uh, everything you did on it is like, you did such a good job on it. it everything, the scales and everything you did. Uh, yeah. Uh, you did it exactly how I wanted it. Uh, I'm gonna slay some fish on this thing for sure. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's get a close up on that thing. What are you gonna be throwing it on? Uh, I'm gonna throw it on my uh, Akuma Guy Select Swimbait Stick. It's a 7-Eleven, uh, I believe it's an extra heavy. Okay. Um, reel's a little old, it's a 16 year old uh, Shimano Crown Arc. Nice. Uh, SF. And then I make my own wooden handles. And this is kind of just like the first generation of wooden handles I've did on them. Nice, bro. But, uh, Let's give that thing a test real quick. Yeah. <laughs> bro. As soon as you catch a fish on that, you got. I, I need the first picture of it, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a call. That's what I'm talking about, man. Hell yeah. All right, guys, you heard it. It's official from the man himself. He said the bait is a go. He likes it. Man, thanks, Cam. I appreciate you, man. Sure. And you know what's dope, man, is he made me a bait. The same bait that he just did, he made me one too. So now I got one for my collection, man. I really do appreciate it. Let's see what's up with this little secret pond you got, man. And Tie the damn lines, man. Y'all gonna catch some damn fish. Yeah.